down to my last couple of days here in Edinburgh and I thought I would try to get one more video in while I'm here. Now when I'm walking around Edinburgh, as I'm sure most photographers do, you're always kind of looking an eye out for something you can come back to photograph. If there's something, if there's some nice light or nice subject. When I've been living in Edinburgh, I walk over Dean Bridge regularly and I noticed that just as I walk over to the, to the side of me, a big tree that's on level with um, Dean Bridge and there's jackdaws almost always in that tree. I'm a little bit further away now so I've got about a half an hour walk unless I can jump on a bus right up here and I'd like to catch this nice sunrise that's coming up now as well. So let's head on over there and see if we can get some images of the jackdaws. <laughs> jump on a bus the last way up here. I was running a little bit late and I forgot to look at how the sun is going to hit this place in the morning. It's one thing I should have done when I was up here and I saw the jackdaws in the first place. Just use my app to check where the sun is going to rise and see if it's a clear view from the sun to here. That's why I'm still here so early to so just be sure that I catch all the, all the light that might come here. here as well because not all these branches are going to look as good. Ideally I want them quite clean um, and a lot of these are just very very cluttered. Too much stuff in the background. Some of these branches are just really busy and they're not well suited for a photo. Um, but every now and then they'll jump on somewhere where you know I can get in the background of the grass below and maybe some of the trees below. Uh, and also I'm also getting sometimes the, the seeds on the tree here in the composition. They got this red, browny, kind of rusty looking colour, so it really complements the bird well. So it takes a bit of time, it's not just to come here and take photos um, like crazy and expect all of them to be good. It takes time to kind of pick out and you know, you get a little bit lucky when they land on the right branches that will look much better than some of the other ones. It turned out to be quite a dark and cloudy day, but I don't actually mind that. Um, it's making me shoot at quite a low shutter speed, but that is, I'm getting those, uh, it's also raining, so I'm getting those streaks of rain in them. So I'm actually trying to shoot with quite low shutter speed and just take more shots. So I get some of them with the bird shot, but long streaks in the background of rain. Uh, the thing then is just try and choose a dark background, because that's going to make that rain really pop out. I quite like the jackdaws because they're quite quite colourful in a, in a crow kind of way anyway. They got this um, grey bluish on their back uh, and around their, around their head and really pale eyes so it was quite cool. Alright, 
definitely never gotten as many weird looks as I have today doing a vlog. Uh, I'm used to doing these out in the middle of nowhere. There's hardly any people. And now I'm getting a rush hour on Dean Bridge in Edinburgh. I even got a text from a friend of mine who was on a bus asking, what are you looking at off of Dean Bridge? <laughs> the idea for today was just how important it is to get eye level with your subject that you're photographing because very often with birds you will have to get really low or you're gonna have to get a little bit higher because they're up in trees and they're in flight so this is just kind of an ideal opportunistic kind of photography you see something walking around make a note of it come back um, it's often a good idea to be looking out for when you're walking over bridges or you're up on a hill or anything like that if there's good trees that birds will be in you have a good vantage point that can be a good place for photography so now definitely not all those pictures worked because there's a lot of clutter in those branches as well so only a few of them really worked and uh, it's the ones with the nicest backgrounds and the fewest distractions in the image so we just have to see what came out of that and hopefully I got something good there are things to photograph even in the middle of a busy city just kind of have to keep your eyes open look out for subjects that can work and ideas that you might want to try out make a note of it come back I'll often just make a note either in my notebook or sometimes especially if I'm in a new place that I don't know I'll make a note in uh, Google map and I'll put a pin down and I'll create these maps for everywhere I go it's just Places to go for, for wild, photographing wildlife. Places that I can come back to when, when it's going to be good light or when it suits me, when I have time. I wanted to say thank you so much for all the new subscribers and everybody who's been there from the beginning as well. For all the comments and all the likes. I am humbled and I truly appreciate it. Um, very grateful for everybody who subscribed, everybody who likes and comments. Uh, it's so supportive and it just makes me want to make more of these videos. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And that's it for me in Edinburgh. I'm going to be traveling on from here. I'll be Cumbria next, Isle of Mull, and I kind of forget where I'm going after that. But there should be some good places for wildlife photography. I am hoping for a bit of variety of stuff but definitely otters on mall that's something i really want to photograph so until next time thanks for watching